Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on these podcast streets. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, you guys, happy Monday and welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely Tea. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready, honey, because I'm definitely here to spill the tea during this podcast. So a lot of people have been hitting me up about this whole situation with Sencia and Meg Thee Stallion. So I wanted to come on here and talk about it. I was waiting for this video to drop. Because I had saw snippets of the video, but I didn't want to judge it off of snippets. I wanted to watch the full thing. So if you guys do not know, honey, Meg Thee Stallion connected with dancehall artist Shensia. Okay, Miss Shensia. For y'all who don't know, Shensia is from Jamaica. She's Jamaican and Korean. She's been in the industry, in the dancehall industry for a few years now. Beautiful girl. She can wrap her ass off, sing, very multifaceted. She also DJs. So she connected with Meg the Stallion, honey. You know, Miss Hot Girl herself. Ah, you know, the tongue shit. So the video comes out, and I watch it this weekend. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, okay. Is this WAP 2.0? Okay. And y'all know how I felt about WAP. I kept it real. I thought lyrically Meg the Stallion ate on WAP. I thought her lyrics were definitely harder than Cardi's. But like I said, with WAP, the visuals for me were over the top. There was a lot of symbolism. I talked about this when the video first came out. Now, when I watched the Sencia and Megan the Stallion Lick video, because that's the name of the song, Lick, um, I didn't like the visuals. I thought it was over the top. I thought it was cheesy. I thought it was a WAP 2.0. And it was just really weird to see the mouth on Sensia's, you know, hoo-ha. <laughs> okay. It's like a mouth there. And then Meg Thee Stallion comes out of the mouth like a damn birth canal. And she's rapping in front of her, you know, hoo-ha for a little bit. But now, as far as the song goes... To me, I like the song. I think the song is a bop. Meg definitely killed it. You know, Meg going to kill her verse, okay? I thought Cynthia did good as well. I thought she killed it. I think if this is a song that comes on in the club, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> Titi about to get up there and dance and, you know what I'm saying, twerk and, you know, whatever. I'm going to dance to it. It's a bop. Just like I said, if WAP comes on, I'm in the club, I'm definitely going to dance to it. If I'm with my homegirls and it comes on in the car, I'm going to rap to it. So it's one of those songs. Am I going to just play it in the house while I'm cooking dinner? No. But it is a song, you know, for a particular place and time. But child, people are not feeling this shit. And from what I'm seeing, it's a lot of people from the Jamaican culture who are not feeling the song. They're not feeling their lyrics. They're not feeling what Sensia is promoting. They feel like Sensia has sold her soul. Um, you know, she's crossed over. She's pushing a lot of agendas. Child, they were dragging her on Twitter this weekend. Um, and a lot of American people weren't feeling the video either. They just thought it was a WAP 2.0. And I'm going to say this. This kind of gave me a little bit of faith in this new generation. Because at first I kind of thought that y'all was just team anything goes. You know what I'm saying? I said in a minute, you know, these rap videos, they're just going to be straight up having sex in a minute. Because I felt like that was the road that we were going down because everything is so vulgar. It's one thing to talk vulgar, but then when you add the visuals to it and then the way they try and do it with the bright colors because they want it to appeal to the youth. They want it to appeal to the, you know, the preteens, the young ones. That's why they use all these bright colors and lollipops and, you know, all that shit that's geared towards children. And this is in a lot of videos. You know, we can go from 6 9 to Cardi to Megan. You know, this is in a lot of videos where they have, like, you know, those kitty themes. So, a lot of folks on Twitter were not feeling this. A lot of folks had things to say. So, I want y'all to check this out real quick. Oh, my God. Corny. Lame. Boo. Tomato, tomato, tomato. I'm throwing tomatoes. All who never believe in me now start clap and clap and have pride. So, me now kiss bottom, bottom. Willingly. I didn't do it willingly. I was forced I was forced by them. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? 
All right, honey. So y'all just saw some of them tweets and what people had to say about the situation. So for me, I also want to see what, you know, the people in the dance hall was saying about this. Because I've been seeing for a while, people have been trying to pit Cynthia against Spice. And if you guys don't know, Spice is on Love & Hip Hop. She's a major dance hall queen. Spice has been doing her thing for years. Um, now, I kind of feel... Like, a lot of people are saying that Sensi was being too sexual. She's talking about lick. It seems like more people are upset that they're talking about female oral sex. That's the vibe I'm getting. Maybe I'm wrong and y'all can school me any, you know, I got a lot of Jamaican tea sippers. Y'all can let me know. But I feel like that's where a lot of the backlash is coming from is the fact that she's promoting female oral sex. And that can lead to lesbianism. From That's the vibe I'm getting from what some of the people are saying on social media. And we know in Jamaica, that's a big taboo. But my thing is, why is it wrong to promote a female getting licked? But literally, hoodie, I could name a hundred songs about guys getting their dick suck. Okay? Like, why is that okay? Why is male oral sex always okay and palatable? But then when the female's like, no, I don't even want that big dick. I just want to get ate out. It's an issue. And so a lot of people were going in on her. Futa Hype had a lot of stuff to say. Um, he, you know, he, he kept it real, you know, because he's from the culture. He's from Jamaica. So I don't want to say that anybody's right or wrong because I'm on the outside looking in, right? I'm not from, I'm not Jamaican. So I don't want to say like, oh, he's wrong. That's how he feels. And a lot of people do agree with him. And people also felt like in her live stream where she was kind of going back and forth with fans about the song, that she also low-key disrespected Vibes Cartel. Because she's basically trying to take with herself. And she feels like, why can't I talk about licking the poom poom when Vibes Cartel had Freaky Girl 1, 2, and 3? Child, this is a whole Caribbean <laughs> dance hall mess, but I'm here for the tea, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys what Cynthia had to say. She was kind of defending herself, you know, going back and forth with fans because she was getting a lot of criticism because people felt like she really dumbed herself down. Because if you really go and you watch Cynthia, like when she freestyles, when she does her music, she goes hard. This lady's very, very talented. So a lot of people feel like she dumbed herself down and she sold herself. She sold her soul, quote unquote, to the American mainstream music that she's only doing this to become more mainstream. And now she's turning her back on dance hall. But Sensi is saying that she never wanted to be a dance hall queen. That was never her vision. She wanted to try it for five years and then eventually go mainstream. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch both of these videos of Sensia speaking to the fans about Lick and then um, Futa Hype basically stating what, you know, his opinion. Now, his video is long. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm just going to play a few clips. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Girls, we want tongue on our clits. I just saw what they right now. For the whole of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Suck wood. We're not sucking no wood. We're not, we're not sucking no wood right now. I come home, we are suck right now. And that we are talking about. So lick. Put the tongue on my clits. Not on the dick. We're not depressed right now. Go link. Go and link your male artists to talk about sucking dick. We're not talking about sucking dick right now. We are for the girls. We want tongue on our clits. At this hour, they right now. For the whole of January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then next year, January again. Okay. No, I suck. No, I suck no dick right now, man. Sure. Leave the woman. Let them shine. We're talking about eating our JJs. That we're talking about. Somebody says so cocky. Time done now. <laughs> e, who remembers when Vibes Cartel was having his whole era of just bro a freaky girl about one, two, and three. One, two, and three. We don't want to hear about Uno right now. Uno having a time. Y'all got y'all shine. Let the women enjoy their time. You feel me? We love big dicks, yes, but that's not enough, bro. We want with pom pom suck, suck, suck. P. That's only gonna address this once because I see some tags in like my mentions saying that you know I should focus back on dancehall more and 
and I'm gonna be the next dancehall queen. I have never aspired to be a dancehall queen in my life. Never. I've never aspired to be a dancehall queen because I'm not only gonna be doing dancehall. I can do a lot of the different genres. I'm not gonna put myself in no box to please nobody. So please, don't expect that from me. I've been doing it for five years because I told myself I'm gonna give myself to my Caribbean people strictly and my country for five years. That's a show that I can do it. I've done that. That's off my list. Like my friends can tell you everything that I have achieved, I take them off because I said I was gonna achieve them. I've I've take I've take that off now. Now it's time to go to the next level. I'm never gonna be an artist that you can say, oh, I sound the same. Because y'all do be killing female artists, especially saying they have no style, they sound the same, they got the same flow. It's some shit to put down women. Rather than saying, you know this person to excel at this, you know that person to excel at that. Instead, y'all say they can only do that so it doesn't entertain you that's what you can't say about shensia and you will never so please please don't even complain that i'm versatile don't y'all don't know what y'all want and at the end of the day i know what i want so i'm gonna always do what i want somebody just sent me one clipping of the video with with shensia and um Mega and the stallion. See? I want to ask Shensia. Alright, people, I know Shensia, you know, before she even become a star and things. So, what I want to say, see? I want to know if she proud, like, you're proud at that moment, yeah? like, this is what you want, your legacy. If you read, like, when, like, Nadine Sutherland and Terra Fabulous I got um, action, not a bag about sweet, action, not a, you see me? Um, it's songs where we'll never stop playing, you know what I mean? Like, you want your legacy for read, say, all you do, I promote. A nastiness and demonic behavior. That, that's what you want to to be remembered as. We are, what, what you doing? This is what you want to represent at the top of the game. People who know say me just talk truth, right? I don't think Shensia write that song. Shensia is complying. Listen. Nobody can force you to go in a studio and sing that. She agreed to sing in it. Even if somebody write it, the record company will push forward their narrative. But it's you who have to stand up and decide, I don't want to be a part of that kind of thing. She decided to do it. And then, after the song is written and recorded, mixed and mastered, they do a video. And based on when we see another little piece of video there, she is actually telling the world that she's a lesbian and that's what they are promoting. This is what I want Shensia to always remember. You are not going to be the most talk about artists all the time. You are not going to be at the top of the table all the time life changes and there are different seasons for different people all the time what you do with your time is very important no what you're doing with your time is creating an awareness now in the present but it will cripple you in the future our people are forgetting the main important thing of your existence in the music business. And I'm going to show you what is the most important thing.
thing in in the game one thing you must never forget never i'm going to show you hold on when you say this this is the most important thing as an artist as a producer as a selector this this yes is the most important thing hey hey that you see that flag here yeah? and where it stands for and where we grew up on I eat for the at the top of your brain. This. That Jamaica flag here. Means say. You are going to remember. How you grew. Remember. Where your principles of growing up. It no matter if your address change. Your mindset. Your inner spirit. Oh your values where you grew up and nothing change. All right, so you guys just watch both of those videos. Now, I will say this. Do I agree with everything that Futa High Pass is saying? Absolutely not. But I think that he did make some key points. A lot of things are overly sexualized. And I don't care what side of the rainbow you're on. Heterosexual, homosexual, that is your business. But I do feel like a lot of things are super hypersexualized. You know, from rap music female rappers, male rappers, to regular R&B. And we speak about that a lot here on this channel, so this is nothing new. You know, why is it that everything is so sexualized nowadays? We say the same thing, I say the same thing on my channel, like everything is so sexualized, like I said before, it's to the point now where you cannot tell the female R&B singers, like Chloe and, and others, from the female rappers. It's like everybody wants to push sex. Everybody's in a damn leotard. Everybody got their legs spread open. Everybody got their nipples hard as hell. You know, it's just everything is just so sexual. And so, and to me, that kind of, it, it takes away from the music. It cheapens it. You know, it doesn't make it memorable. Okay. Like when you hear songs from the 90s, it, it, it takes you to a time and place. It's memorable. I can play a certain song and everybody knows the lyrics. Everybody will rock out to it. But a lot of songs from this generation, they're not memorable. They're hot one moment. It's on the billboard. You know, you might sing and rap to it. But if you play it three, four years from now, it's like, uh, okay, all right. You know, and I, and I think that's the issue that's going on in the music industry all over. But I always thought that dance hall was more sexual Anyways, well, at least modern dance. I'm not going to say old school, but modern dance. Huh? I had always assumed it to be more of a sexual because I would see them people jumping off of damn roofs and shit and jumping onto people who are on the ground and then humping them like, damn, please don't kill yourself, brother. It ain't that damn serious. Superman flies again. Let's see it again. Flies again. We've all seen them Jamaican dance hall, you know, them Jamaican videos where everybody's dancing and jumping on each other and, you know, acting wild, honey. So I assume that was a big part of the culture. But from what I'm seeing here, that's a subset. Everybody doesn't want it to go that route. Some people still want to keep it wholesome. And they felt like, you know, Sensa is just doing anything to go mainstream. And why does she have to go there? Why does she have to promote licking the poom poom and things like that? You know, at the end of the day. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned in or anchorfm.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.